Alright, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of the Kingdom Among Thieves. This is Jack PS9. Um, this would be my first mod spotlight that I've ever actually did. It is on the da Actions uh, Advanced Power Systems. It's really a very wonderful mod, personally. Um, instead of using like forestry or other mods to create power, you can use a fusion generator which is this little handy thing which is created as such um, these kits though guys have to be made in, in an assembly table in order to be made correctly but before we start on that what we actually need is an energy store yes I already have one but I want to show you guys the recipe so here's the recipe there's a wooden conductive pipe and a golden conductive pipe at the bottom and how you make this iron uh, iron power core is like this to make an iron power core power core um, four iron ingots two iron gears two redstone and a redstone iron chipset which I can't show you how to make that but hey okay and back out of there so that's how you make the energy store kit which you put in an assembly table and you get this this will store up to, I believe, it's one million uh, megajoules. You can also use the sliders, but I find them a little glitchy, so I'm not using them right now. But now to show you guys the fusion generator, and I will tell you something: it uses water in order to create energy. Um, you want water coming in from two different pipes, from two different sides connected to three pumps like buildcraft pumps um, this produces the best amount and an unlimited amount of energy without any issues so let's show you how this is created shall we um, for obsidian in the corners along with your output module your input module your control module your takamak chamber and your I don't know how to pronounce that first word. And I'll just say extractor. <laughs> um, okay, so for the output module, yes, you guys will notice that this will put cost a lot of diamonds. But if you have uh, teleport pipes, you will basically be able to teleport energy to like five or six different quarries and just have them mine up. So it's not much of a problem when you're producing like 500 megajoules compared to I believe it's a max of 5 with the combustion engine so you're getting 10 times m or 100 times more energy alright so golden conductive, golden conductive and wooden conductive to make you output module and let's go back to the fusion generator shall we uh, the control module is iron redstone repeaters and this diamond core or power core which is crafted as such yes another chipset and it's diamond and two more diamond gears which is even more diamond alright back here alright now to the chamber this guys is rather expensive as well because the plating requires you require four of these and it requires three diamonds apiece um, also it requires a lot of obsidian to make this <laughs> the iron isn't that bad like there's tons of iron within the minecraft world but <laughs> hey. alright back here okay now to the extractor once again the iron power core so I'm not gonna bother showing you guys that cause you've already seen it um, water golden waterproof pipe golden waterproof pipe to golden conductor pipes two combustion engines and a refinery yes guys once again another very very pricey item but hey you will absolutely love this um all right two more diamonds and other than that it's relatively cheap except for the cost of gold um so let's back out of there and let's place this puppy down shall we um Let's flip the switch and get energy popping in here. This shouldn't actually take this long to fill this past that bar. So, yeah, and this will just keep draining 500 megajoules a second and putting it directly into here. Um, it only takes half of the energy storage 
to even get this past that green line. So, and if I want, I can flip this off so it won't start fusing until I let it. Um, because there is something I want to change about this system of mine. Because, nope, these pipes down here, I'm finding aren't getting the energy that they properly require because I have six or so long of uh, pipes going through, so I'm just going to split that off right there. Alright guys, as you guys can see, this thing is now fusing, creating energy. And what the Hold on a second. Oh, it's because I placed this thing in the wrong spot. Duh. Alright. So while that thing is continually producing heat, which basically that's all it's doing, which sucks because that means I have to reset this up. Okay, golden pipe there. Like as you guys can Yeah, currently because of my little screw up guys, this is not going to be producing full energy at the moment. Well, it is producing almost full energy, but hey. Alright. Well, let's knock these off for a second. Okay, so the green pipe, which is going to be producing my energy, I want at least 200 energy. Out from there, red. Um, one another two hundred. Also, green is my main priority. Red is secondary. In yellow, which I only want producing just under a hundred energy. Um, I'll show you guys how to create this energy direction thingy in a second. Okay guys, as to why this isn't actually working, I have no idea, but you guys at least did get to see the fusion generator as well as, oh, okay, sorry, like spike, um, the fusion generator as well as the storage, which are the two actual main components to this, so as far as I'm concerned, okay, ow. Um, 
that actually isn't supposed to happen. That's probably because I had it going through wooden pipes instead, which was entirely my fault. Um, so yeah, don't connect it to wooden pipes. Say so to like wooden conductive pipes, or else you are just gonna get the big bang on you. So, all right. Alright, so there we go. We got barely enough power coming until it goes again. But, anyways, guys, thank you for watching my first mod spotlight on Daction's Advanced Power Systems, or APS for short. Um, Alright, have a good day.